In this video, we will be solving part D and part E of question number 3.4. So let's begin. Your part D says, does Elmo always prefer more of both kinds of money to less? In your previous part, we learned that these were the indifference curve for Elmo, which corresponds to different combinations of quarters and dimes as you have quarters on the x-axis and dimes on the y-axis. Now question says, does Elmo always prefer more of both kinds of money to less. Now consider a situation that Elmo is at a situation where he has two quarters and one dime. So he has two quarters and one dime. Thus these would be his indifference band where red indifference band which is inclusive of the red indifference curve and the shaded region. So corresponds to the combination of two quarters and one dime. The blue indifference band corresponds to the combination where he has four quarters and two dimes. Likewise, the green one corresponds to six quarters and three dimes. This was something I explained you in the previous video. For further explanation, you can always refer to that video if you have any confusion. Now coming back to the question. So if he has two quarters and one dime. Now if I give him three more quarters and two dimes. So he would land at a situation where he has five quarters and three dimes. So that means he would be somewhere here as this point corresponds to five quarters and three dimes. Now as you can see that Elmo is indifferent along this red indifference band but the blue indifference band gives him the higher level of satisfaction than the red indifference band as in blue indifference band he can get more number of soft drinks than in the red indifference band as the machine gives him one soft drink for two quarters and one dime. So if he has four quarters and two dimes then he would be able to get two soft drink thereby his level of satisfaction would be higher in this case. Thus for this particular scenario we say that Elmo always prefer more of both kind to less as if I am giving him more quarters and dimes then his satisfaction level is increasing and being a rational consumer he would always prefer higher level of satisfaction compared to a lower one. Now going by this scenario we would say that the answer to this question is yes but focus on the word always. Now consider a different scenario. So we started from the point where he had two quarters and one dime. Now what if I only give him one quarter and one Dime. Thereby he lands at a situation where he has three quarters and two dimes. Graphically that would be a point somewhere here. Now note that his previous situation was at this point. His new situation is at this point. But both of these situations are lying in the same indifference band which means his level of satisfaction remains the same. So despite of the fact if I am giving him more quarters and dimes his satisfaction level is not increasing. So he would not prefer a situation of three quarters and two dimes to situation of two quarters and one dime. That is in this particular case he would not prefer more of both kinds of money to less. Hence the answer to this question is no. Just because of the fact he would not always prefer more of both kind of money to less. As we just saw there is a situation where he does not prefer more of both kinds of money to less as his level of satisfaction remains the same. So he would be indifferent between the two scenarios which happened here. So let's move to the next part which says does Elmo have a bliss point? Now what do you mean by bliss point? We sometimes want to consider a situation involving situation where there is some overall best bundle for the consumer and the closer he is to that best bundle the better off he is in terms of his own preferences. For example, suppose that consumer has some most preferred bundle and let that bundle be x1 bar and x2 bar. And the farther he is from that bundle, the worse off he is. In this case, we say that the consumption bundle x1 bar, x2 bar is a situation point or a bliss point. The indifference curve for the consumer looks like this where this black dot corresponds to the bundle x1 bar and x2 bar which is your situation point or bliss point and the indifference curves will surround this points. Now note that here the indifference curves are in circular or you can say in oval but that may not be the case always. But the key concept here is that the indifference curve will surround this point. So it could be 
that if this is your bliss point then your indifference curve could look like this or it could even look like a rectangle and then it goes like this so the point i'm trying to make here is that it is not necessary that the indifference curves are in circular shape also the best point is x1 bar and x2 bar and the points farther away from this bliss points lie on the lower indifference curve so this indifference curve give you higher satisfaction level than this indifference curve as if there is a point here compared to a point here then this point is closer to this best bundle hence it will give him higher level of satisfaction and this point will give him low level of satisfaction thus it will lie on lower indifference curve so let's apply now these were the indifference curve we had for elmo which corresponds to different combinations of quarters and dimes also in the question we were given that elmo is so thirsty that the only thing he cares about is how many soft drinks he will be able to buy with a change in his pocket the more he can buy the better focus on this the more he can buy the better which means elmo does not really have the most preferred bundle for quarters and dimes as in order to buy more and more soft drinks he need more and more good quarters and dimes which gives him higher level of satisfaction because the more he can buy soft drinks the better he is in terms of satisfaction so that means he does not have any best bundle like this other his preferences are moving in this direction as the answer to this question is no as he really likes to have more and more soft drinks and for that he needs more and more quarters and dimes thus there won't be any bliss point for him